Alright, so you guys might think I'm crazy, but just hear me out for a second. Wood chipper. Yeah. Probably wondering how the hell is Necros gonna make a video out of a wood chipper, and I mean, there's a lot of cool things you could do with a wood chipper. Is it obvious I'm desperate to play Jedi Survivor? <laughs> uh, and I say that after having it crash about four times, so... I'm not too enthusiastic. But I did find an interesting property with this entity, and we're gonna showcase what this thing's all about. So, well, if it's not obvious, this is the wood chipper. And it chips more than wood. But I think first we gotta show off that it does chip wood. I know this might seem like an April Fool's joke or something, but by the way, if you guys want to turn it on or off, you can use the control panel right there. Anyway, just put something into the primary orifice, and you preferably want to freeze it in place. And you get this beautiful HD wood chipping sound. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can... Oh! All right, so that's not all that exciting, but can you chip more than just wood? And I think you guys are going to start to see where I'm going with this. We're going to progressively see what this thing can chip. And I did a, a bit of preemptive testing, not too much because I don't want to spoil it for the video, of course, but just enough to make me think there's something here. So of course you don't even have to use the fizz gun. You can use the gravity gun, which is a lot more realistic. You know, you don't have to just shove it in there. You can kind of just, well, shove it in there, but more forcibly. And it feels better than just having to lightly guide it in. Now, is there limits to this? Yes. Things like an explosive barrel? It, I mean, let's be honest, it's pretty much going to get destroyed either way. So, what happens when we go into the wood chipper? Well, not really a whole lot. That's mainly because we're just a little bit too big. But no worries, we can simply just lift it up vertically and... Oh, we still don't get chopped up. However, it's a clearance issue because if we no clip, we now get chipped. And this is the start of why I wanted to do a video on this. I know I'm building it up, but I promise you guys, I'm not padding this video out. This is probably gonna be like a five minute video. This thing can chop up NPCs. Now, you guys know what happens when we find a weapon or entity that kills NPCs pretty quickly. That's right, we make it a will it survive, and that is exactly what today's video is. We can see what happens when you put an NPC in, although if they don't go completely in, you get the gib shooting out the back, which interestingly enough does not happen with props or wood, which is what this thing is made for. But ragdolls, absolutely, and it is pretty brutal. Just shooting gibs and organs and pieces of meat Oh, Dessa, I really never wanted to see you like this. I say that as someone who has put him through Ragdoll Slaughter. Definitely check that video out if you want to see some real gory stuff. But then you know what? It hit me. Why do we have to stop at Odessa? What about other NPCs? And also, if you guys do want to know, you can bring the wood chipper to the NPC if you so desire. And you're going to notice it works just about as good as it did the other way. And fancy that, it'll even cut the zombie in half. Alright, no more wasting time. What about the God of War? Dude has gobs of health. Bringing this to the God of War... ...is going to instantly... ...kill him. This is not your granddaddy's wood chipper. This thing is... ...a weapon of mass destruction if used properly. But then we have some interesting cases like here with the Incredible Hulk. Now, don't get me wrong. It does work, but... ...well... The Hulk likes to step on it before you can get it on top of him. So I kind of have to go in from above and then kind of like wiggle my way through. And eventually, we will finally make him transform. And sadly, that's where the story ends. Because Worldbreaker Hulk is just too strong. We do... We... We do damage. As you can see up there, the health bar is slightly going down, but he has so much health and his regeneration is too strong, he just pretty much goes right back up to full. And then there's NPCs where it has no effect whatsoever. Here we have the Ploosh from Atomic Hearts. I'm mistaken. I tested that NPC before and it didn't do anything, so... I guess that goes to show you this thing can be a little finicky. Alright, I'm gonna be honest, I did not expect that. But next up we have SCP-106. 
My god, why am I doing this video? This is such a strange video, guys, I apologize. But, well, we know this NPC to be pretty much invincible in most cases. But he is not invincible to the obligatory wood chipper. Now I hope you guys do understand why I chose this for the video. This thing is freaking strong AF, but it is not the ultimate weapon. I mean, that would be the funniest thing ever because there are NPCs that simply just don't get affected by it. And one of those is SCP-073 Kane. So first things first, it's kind of hard to even do this because well, just like our buddy Hulk, he likes to get on top of it before we can put it on him. However, even if we get a good angle, we just can't seem to really get it to bite onto him. As you can see right there, that was like perfect. And it's even making sounds. But the thing is, it's just not doing anything. But of course, to finish off this video, we got to see our boy, the man, the myth, the legend, Minge God. I mean, it killed 106. There's hope that it could potentially do something to him too. And there's our dilemma. Not only does he like to get on top of it like some of the other NPCs, even if we get a clear cut through like this, it just doesn't do anything. Like, Midge God does not care. So, uh, yeah, if this doesn't explain the strange behavior with this, I really don't know what will. But honestly, that's pretty much all I got. I could do the QTG hacker, but I think we know how that's going to go if I could even keep him in one place. Oh, and get this. This was the strange behavior I was talking about. Now the chipper won't do anything. It doesn't matter what you do, you can turn it off, turn it on. It's not chipping anymore. And you could put objects in, like you can grab this, and you could stick it in, and it won't get chipped. Something about Minge God just breaks this add-on. Guys, this was a really goofy video though. Let me know what you think about this down below. I just like thinking of random cool ideas and making them into a video. Plus, I kind of wanted a reason to throw Odessa into a meat shredder. But guys, let me know your thoughts down below. This is definitely a interesting mod, that's for sure. That's the word I would use. It It's definitely one of the mods of all time. But if you do want to check it out, I'll put the link in the description as well as everything else. If you guys want to like or subscribe, you totally can. Guys, thank you so much for watching this until the end. And until next time, farewell. <laughs>